And our team coverage continues now with Eli Higgins as one Wichita resident is worried about going to jail because of the cyber attack on the city of Wichita. Eli? Well, Deb, that resident you just mentioned says he's trying to turn his life around. And after getting out of rehab, he couldn't believe what the city told him. Your final answer is that I'm pretty much screwed, you know. I told him I was going to call Cake on your side, uh, and she said, go right ahead and do that. Life hasn't been easy lately for Mason McDonald. After struggling with addiction and getting locked up last month on drug charges, he decided it was time for a change. I was in rehab for the last month, and when I got out, and like I'm trying to do everything, like I'm working on getting my license back, I'm trying to get everything you know, back on track in my life. McDonald says he wanted to start with baby steps, like taking responsibility for his actions and actually showing up to his court date. But after rehab, he couldn't remember what day he's supposed to be there. This morning I called down to the courthouse to try to find out my court date, and they notified me that they couldn't tell me my court date. McDonald says the city of Wichita told him this is because of a cyber attack that shut down its computer systems which he understands, but it's what he says happened next that shocked him the most. And they said that my only option was to wait until I missed court and they would issue a warrant and it just seemed like an injustice. It seemed like, like, I mean, so that's my only option is to go to jail. McDonald says he knows there are others stuck in similar situations because of the cyber attack. He just hopes the city will have some lenience until it's resolved. And it's just a little bit of a helpless feeling. You know, like uh, I'm trying to be a responsible adult. You know, I've had some some issues in my past and stuff, and I'm trying to do things the right way. McDonald says he knows his court date is coming up soon, so his plan is to just keep calling and hope for a different answer. I'm reporting live, Eli Higgins, Cake News on your side.